So when I was a kid, I did like the Fantastic Four cartoon, but I have to admit, I was never really a big fan of the Fantastic Four movies. They just didn't work for me. We got three of them. So the first was way back in 2005, and it starred Jessica Alba, Chris Evans, Ion Grufford, Michael Chiklis, and Julian McMahon as Doctor Doom. The film was okay, nothing special, it wasn't bad. It had a budget of $87 million, and it made over $330 million at the box office. I was actually thinking about this film recently, given the fact that another Fantastic Four movie is on the way. Where would this movie stack up in comparison to current MCU offerings? It would probably be considered a masterpiece if it was released today. But the film did well enough to justify a sequel, which came out in 2007, Fantastic Four Rise of the Silver Surfer, which made, again, over $300 million at the box office, but because the budget was higher, at between $120 to $130 million, the film was obviously less profitable. A third film didn't happen. So, the franchise was rebooted in 2015 with a new Fantastic Four film, a brand new cast. The less said about that film, the better. I don't know where the $120 million budget went, and I don't know how it made $167 million at the box office. It was obviously not financially successful, but the film looked cheap, it was dull, lifeless, it was devoid of fun and joy. It's very rare that I think to myself after watching a film, I'd like those two hours back, please, but definitely applies to that Fantastic Four film for sure. But Disney, Marvel are not giving up on the Fantastic Four. They're determined to make them work now in the MCU. Just like how they're shoehorning the X-Men and Deadpool into the MCU as well, thanks to the multiverse, the inclusion of the Fantastic Four, in my opinion, just feels like the cinematic equivalent of throwing everything and anything at the wall, just trying to make something stick, desperately trying to regenerate the flailing post-endgame Marvel Cinematic Universe. The franchise has had its day, as we've said many times now. It's just been downhill since Endgame, for the most part, and now a kitchen sink worth of superheroes is being chucked into the MCU in order to keep the franchise limping along for a few more years. The news now has been confirmed that the upcoming Fantastic Four film will not only feature the Silver Surfer character, but will also gender swap the character, making the Silver Surfer a woman. This article is from Deadline. The Fantastic Four... Julia Garner joins Marvel Studios' movie as a Shala Bal version of Silver Surfer. The changing of the gender of the Silver Surfer just feels like yet more MCU. Now, the character of Shala Bal did become the Silver Surfer in a parallel universe in Marvel Comics, but the primary version of Shala Bal did not become the Silver Surfer. But nevertheless, the Silver Surfer has always been traditionally male. So... Why make this change now? I mean, it all feels very current year, doesn't it? Because stunning. Because brave. Because Disney is going to Disney these days, and they still can't read the room that Woke has no popular support among general cinema-going audiences. It's like they still haven't taken on board the mocking they received from the Pandaverse episode of South Park. Productions are being made for an audience that seemingly doesn't exist. I mean, take Star Wars fans, for example, who've made their dissatisfaction clear when it comes to the uh, like-to-dislike ratio for the trailer for the Acolyte. A few years ago, hardcore fans of pop culture franchises were annoyed by the intrusion of Woke. But I think now they've passed beyond the angry phase into just outright apathy. They don't care. Now I just see the whole Woke fiasco for Disney as clownish and amusing. Nothing has been learned, and that's okay. I'm seeing indie filmmakers, fan filmmakers, and writers forge ahead with the creation of a new parallel culture for fiction and science fiction. Brand new original stories and franchises. What's hilarious is watching Disney still think anyone cares for their current output. As for the Marvel Cinematic Universe, well, I don't think there's any trick in the book or any gimmick that can be deployed to restore the franchise to the highs of phases one to three. 
Thank you very much for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Take care. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.